Good evening. Welcome to the Select Board Board of Health meeting on February 25th, 2021 at 6.01 p.m. And Trevor, do you mind reading all that stuff? You're, you're oh, muted. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's been a long day. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me now? Thank you. Yes. Um, yes, it has been a long day. Um, so meetings normally held here at the municipal offices are being held remotely with adequate alternative means of public access and where required public participation provided in accordance with the governor's March 12th, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law of Mass Law J, Section 20. More meetings are typically broadcast on Frontier Community Access Television, which is tonight. Um, remote meeting connections are listed on below that's on our agenda which is found on our town website if you go to our uh, Deerfield you know town website you can look down to the bottom at the calendar and see our upcoming meetings click on that that link and it'll take you to a couple of items our meeting packet and our agenda and you can click on that agenda and then find our telephone dial-in numbers and our zoom meeting link uh, the dial-in number is 312-626-6799 the meeting ID is 911-604-1580. And should you need a passcode, it's 570012. Um, meeting attendees should mute phones, and you can do that by doing star six, unless asking a question or commenting. All attendees uh, should wait to speak until other participants are finished. Thank you and welcome. Um I know we are um, going to go into executive session, but I just want to state for the record how wonderful, wonderful it was. We can talk about this later too, but I just want to say it was wonderful. Trevor and Dave worked so hard all day today. It was wonderful. We had a very successful clinic and um, it was just, it was great to have all three of us working together and making sure we got as many um, of our citizens as needed as possible. So yeah. I just want to thank both of you. It was a true select board, board of health commitment today from you know early, early this morning. And it was so wonderful. I just want to give you both a hug. I know we're thank not you. supposed to. Uh, Virtual hugs. <laughs> you know, we're supposed to do this ham butt or whatever. Oh my God, yeah. not, not satisfactory enough. I'm sending you both hugs because you were wonderful. Thank okay, you. so um, we're going to go into the executive session. Uh, the select board will enter into executive session to discuss strategy with respect to litigation, namely the Bordani Crawley versus South Deerfield DG Series LLC Commonwealth of Massachusetts Housing Court, the Department of Trial Court, Western Division, docket number 21879CV. Zero 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 eight eight, because I declare as chair that an open meeting would be detrimental on, on the have a detrimental effect on our litigating um, position of a public body. I will second that motion, Trevor McDaniel. If there is no further discussion, um, all those in favor. Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Aye, Dave Wolfram. Aye, Carolyn Ness. And you'll be inviting in uh, our town um, oh, yes. administrator, we're, we're Casey be... Warren, and our and attorney, yeah. um, Adam Costa. Oh, Adam's going to be there? Okay. I believe so. Is it Adam believe... and Lisa? Or is it just Adam? I think it's just, just Adam. Adam. Just Adam. Adam, I believe. All right. Just me. And you're going to come, come back to the meeting. Yes. And we're going to we're going to open back up um, as soon as we're done in the regular session. Yep, and we hope to have a, um, uh, well, at seven o'clock, we have a joint meeting with the planning board as well. Yeah. So people can join for that too. Board, I would like to correct the record on several comments I made on the North Main Street information session on January 19th, 2021, the park project. Um, I was under the impression that Ms. Rathbone had applied for a commercial permit for her property at 131 Main Street, and I stated as such. In fact, that was not the case, and I had incorrect information. If there is any misimpressions as a result of my comments, I apologize, as I apologized that night if I was wrong. I absolutely and sincerely apologize, and I hope 
we can work through these issues related to the town's potential creation of the North Main Street Park together. And that was my only intention was that, you know, I wanted to make sure that we were working together and if she had changed her mind at all. So anyway, thank you. I just wanted to clarify that and read that into the record. Thank you, Carolyn. Right. Um, next item on the agenda um, is the COVID updates. And um, Casey, you wanted to talk about the municipal survey. I know we have to get the municipal survey in. Um, do you wanna, I, I, I'm, thank you for, you know, asking us to help you. I think it actually is more complicated than people. Um, you so wanna ask the questions? Trevor and David so, there? Trevor, yeah. I'm gonna try to find this so that I can link in and show my screen. But okay. as I've told people in the past, I have, because of how I have to work at home and I tried to stay at work, but I my no. AV down there is a problem as well. Um, it may be that I have to ask you to pull the survey up. I'm gonna try this, we'll see if it works. Is it the um, survey? It's the UMass survey, it's the, I sent an email, but there's also a link in. Oh my! Is it an MMA survey? It looks like an it's MMA the MMA piece. survey. I forwarded it to you. Oh, okay. Let me just let's just see if I can. It, it's actually a little bit complicated, Meaning. and I think all three of us should have some input onto it. That's why I was going to try to pull it up on the screen because I didn't want to start the survey myself and try to go through it because I couldn't figure out how to screenshot everything. So um, it talks about impacts on the municipal operations, strategies adopted by um, uh, you know, us for emergency response, impacts on vulnerable population, in particular food and housing security. I think for us, you know, definitely our senior citizens were really impacted. Um, impacts on local businesses. We've had several of our local businesses that, um, you know, really had um, impact. And then vaccination planning and best practices, which, I mean, we're on top of our game. We just need vaccines. And um, possible strategies for post-COVID uh, post social economic recovery. I think we've, you know, we've got to stress that we have to have some help for, um, local small businesses. Um, I don't know, Dave, if you want to pipe in, but you know, we had, well, like Bittersweet Bakery and Leo's rest, you know, Leo's Table and, um, you know, our restaurants, even Wolfie's, even though Wolfie's has been a long, long time downtown business, you know, they had a really hard time or having a hard time. And that, you know, it just, we've, we've, oh. we've got to have some, this has impacted on almost every business in Deerfield. Yep. Because, you know, it's... Well, Yankee Candles had a lot less visitors, obviously, too. Uh, yep. See, I'm not sure I see the survey. Is there... Um, um, look forward on the MMA hold on. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask Jennifer for, a, for some help. Let me just hit send. Okay. Hold on. I'll look for it. I just sent you an email, Jennifer. It's a forward for the survey link. And if you look, if you look down, you can scare, share your screen. I'm still having trouble with it. Um, so you know, it's, it's almost seven o'clock. So we could do the planning board and then come back to the survey. Okay. Because I, 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 I actually we're gonna think it's really need to do it together. It looks like we don't have planning board quorum yet. Okay. Okay. Well, we can still try it to probably takes that. 10 minutes. So it may be that we should wait until a little bit later. Okay, so what, what we could do says. is get um, get get back to the letter. We could maybe just address the letter. That will take two seconds. Um, we want to send okay. a letter to Governor Baker asking for, um, especially after today, we we had a very successful day um, vaccinating our community, and so we really just need more vaccine. It's not like we're not ready. It's not like we haven't practiced for over ten years. We just need more vaccine. So Casey, maybe you could read the letter and we could okay. vote to send it. So
So this is directed to Governor Baker, Mass State House. Um, I won't read the address. I'll read the body of the letter. It's in mm -hmm. regards to vaccine distribution in rural communities. Honorable Governor Baker, the select boards of Waitley, Deerfield, and Sunderland are writing to share our concerns with the state's emphasis on the mass vaccination sites over local distribution of the COVID-19 vaccine. As you know, from your experience as a Swampskit select board member, local governments are intimately familiar with their community and its needs. We know who our most vulnerable and hard to reach populations are and have plans in place to work with them. The mass vaccination sites fail to account for those high risk individuals in need, especially in rural communities that lack adequate public transportation options. We have planned, trained and practiced for this occurrence and develop local partnerships that work closely with our residents. We have the capacity to vaccinate our residents locally. We are confident that our preparations, experience, and local knowledge make us better suited to serve the unique characteristics of our residents than a mass vaccination site and implore you to shift the necessary allocation of vaccines to local dispensing sites to ensure that res rural residents have timely and convenient access to the COVID-19 vaccine. Sincerely, Sunderland Select Board, Deerfield Select Board, and Waitley Select Board, with space for each member to sign. It's it's carbon copied to the commission Commissioner Monica Burrell at Mass DPH, Senator Joe Comerford, and Representative Natalie Clay. I make a motion to approve this letter and sign. Dave Wolf, I'm a second. Um, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Aye, Dave Wolfram. Aye, Carolyn Ness. I'll stop down and sign at the office. I'm sure you have a master copy there, so I can do that. We will have a master copy tomorrow, Trevor, because the okay. other two select boards were in process of signing, so Jeff had it ready. Jeff will bring it in. Okay. I think it's Jeff okay. that'll bring it in tomorrow, yep. and we'd just like you guys to sign it. Is he not coming tomorrow? No, Wendell, um, not Wendell, sorry, um, Waitley, sorry, <laughs> um, is putting it in our Dropbox. They had to wait for two signatures. Okay. So it'll be, it, we'll have it tomorrow. Great. Okay. Oh, great. Oh, thank you. So I'll put it on um, my desk to sign. I'll, I can, uh, I, I, Dave and I are both working tomorrow at the clinic, so after the clinic, maybe we can stop by and sign it so it can well, go out. I'll be also um, coming to the clinic tomorrow so I can bring it. Oh, okay. oh that'd be great. That's even better. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. If you can bring it, then we can great. sign it. And that way you can get out. We really would like it to get out. Um, then do you mind yeah. mailing it, Jennifer? Sure. sure. Okay. We'll Thank scan you. it and we'll mail it. Yeah, great. So that we perfect. have a scanned copy of everybody's um, signatures. Could you, could you make sure that you send it to Pat Carnivali? If he's still on um, the governor's um, rep to us on on this, uh, you know, Western Mass, I'm not sure. I haven't heard. I haven't talked to him lately. This last. I think months. he shifted back to Mima, Carolyn. So, Jennifer, if you could ask John Pacheric, Chief Pacheric, he'll tell you who's the new rep. Okay. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It's whoever's there are the governor's person out here. We're we're supposed to go through him on most of our complaints. So we want to make sure he gets a copy of this. It doesn't look like we're bypassing whoever it is if it's not okay. Pat any longer. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I I think the planning board has a quorum. Do you have a quorum now, Annalie? Uh, does not yet appear. We're planning on, uh, Rachel definitely said she would be here and I think Ann Mary Okay. So. All right. Um, well, we're not going to do that COVID. <laughs> Um, survey because that's going to be too long, but we could It'll take about down. 10 minutes. So, yeah. So, let's drive, um, jump down to the cruiser, surplus cruiser. Um, uh, John has a request that um, we sell our um, surplus cruiser. I have it here somewhere um, to Sunderland. Um, would one of you motion that, please? I can make that motion. I'll make, make a motion to approve the um, surplus for the cruiser. I'll second that. Okay. Is there any further discussion? Uh, no. no. Um, I, I talked to John okay. about Hearing none. Wait, one second. Going to paint it and 
Uh, so oh, yes. So they, 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 will, they will paint it with their own colors. Yeah. They're going to use the spare cruiser um, for their highway superintendent. So they're, you know, everything, you know, would be painted over. Um, so um, all those in favor? Aye, Trevor McDaniel. And I'm, I'm really happy that a, a neighbor town can use it. Cool. Yes. I, Dave Wolfram. I, Carolyn Ness. Yes, I'm very happy that um, Sunderland is doing that. Um, Partner together. Next, uh, I don't, uh, oh no, Rachel's here. Annalie, I see Rachel. So you do have a quorum. We were just gonna... <laughs> Hi, Rachel. <laughs> Four, okay. All right. Sorry, I just had, I had I power that. issues. Oh, peace. I'm back though. Good. And I'm in charge of dinner, so dinner's burning behind me. Oops. Well, we will be, I think, not too too long. Uh, bear with me as we have our typical opening of the Deerfield Planning Board on Thursday, February 25th, 2021 at 7.03 p.m. See, Rachel, this is fine. Um, our usual meetings held at the municipal offices are now being held remotely with adequate means of public access and public participation when required. And all of this is in accordance with the governor's March 12th, 2020 order suspending certain aspects of the public uh, open meeting law. Um, and of course, our meetings are broadcast on FCAT and, um, the, and uh, the remote agenda um, access is at our website at deerfield.ma.us. Um, roll call. Paul Alice is not available. Max? Hey, Max, I see you're here and muted. Uh, Max Santee's present. Hey, all right, Max. Hi. Uh, Rachel. Rachel Blaine present. Uh, and Mary? No. Denise? Denise Mason present. And Annalie Wilkel present. Excellent. Okay, so we have a quorum of four. Um, Carolyn and I have discussed this a little bit since it's been a while since we've had any appointments. Um, we consulted with town council and um, the process that we should be going through tonight will be that um, we will have motions to nominate and second all of the candidates and then we will have discussion on all the candidates and followed by a roll call vote in alphabetical order where um, all the members will say for whom they are voting if there is a tie or if no one gets a majority, which I think at this point, uh, let's see how many select board people are here today. Oh, all all three. Three select board. Right. And, 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 Mary, and, just... and Mary has joined us. Mary is here too. Okay. Great. So uh, I am Mary. So five Hi. is eight. So we still need to have a majority of five um, to be appointed. Um, so if there's a tie or if no one has a majority of five, then we will reopen discussion. Does all that sound okay? Yep, yep. sounds good. good. Okay, so I guess we'll open for nominations. So I'm, I, I would make a motion to um, appoint Mark Brennan. Uh, this is Trevor McDaniel. I'll make a motion to appoint Mark Brennan as the interim um, planning board member. Um, to serve a term before um, running for office and before the elections coming up this spring. Hey, uh, Walter, I second it. Okay, thank you. Um, that's Mark Brennan, who's nominated. Um, could we have any other um, nominations? I'm sorry, who seconded that? Um, Dave Wolfram. Dave Wolfram. Yes, Emily. I make I make a motion to appoint Lori Busada. For the as the interim for the interim term. Uh, may we have a second? Okay, hearing no second. Um uh other I, I will second. I will yep. second Lori. Okay. Thank you, Carolyn. Carolyn Ness has seconded and Mary. Um, I would like to nominate Kathy Watroba. I'll second that. That's Rachel Blaine. Thank you. Any other nominations? I'd like to, I move to nominate Woody, uh, Stephen Pistrich. Thank you. Any seconds for that? 
I'll second that for discussion, Trevor McDaniel. Thank you. All right, so we have um, four candidates. <clears throat> so um, maybe going in, I don't know, alphabetical order, should we um, have people speak on the different candidates? Lori um, would be the first one. So you want me to speak on that? Okay. You know, I thought about this quite a bit since our last meeting and, you know, out of the three or the four candidates, I know Lori. I mean, I don't know her well, but I know her well enough. I don't know the others. And I know that she's very committed to the town of Deerfield. I know she's on various committees. And, you know, I thought about it and I thought, you know, to nominate, I know that Mark and also Kathy have already said that they've decided to run. And so at this point, I feel that it's an unfair advantage for, for us to nominate um, either one of them, because I think that it's going to be viewed that we're supporting them. And I, I just think it's an unfair advantage. I know that Lori said that she was not interested in running, but we have two meetings until I think the election. And as far as I know, I don't think we have any real controversial things coming up in the next two meetings. So I, I think that would be the fair thing to do. And that's why I nominated her. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anyone else speaking for Lori? Um, Mark. Speaking for Mark. Well, I'll, I'll again, this is Trevor McDaniel. I think, I think Mark would be um, a great addition to the board. Um, I think he has some good background and um, is, is, um, is invested in looking to support uh, Deerfield and serve on boards. And I know, again, I know he's planning to run. I, I had spoken to him. I think months before before we even had any openings up, and um, he was also at that time reaching out and looking to find ways that he could serve the town, and was definitely interested in planning and zoning at the time. And um, so when when this came up, I thought it was a good fit for him, um, and um, I'm excited he's looking to run. And um, so that's it. So I support him for that reason, and I think he would bring some good balance uh, to the board and uh, some some good insight. So yeah. Any other? Um... Statements for Mark? Um, this is Dave Wolfram. Uh, I'm support Mark because of his engineering background and the, uh, and I think he could bring a lot to the board uh, from his background and, you know, help us through some difficult times on things. And I have an engineering and logical approach to things. Thank you, David. Um, any other statements for Mark? Okay, um, Woody Stephen Pistrich. Hi, uh, this is Anne Mary Cloutier. I just want to say that um, uh, Woody is an active community member. He's run, run for the board a lot. Um, he's a stickler for the rules. He's very well read and he is very familiar with our town bylaws. Okay, any other statements for Woody? Okay, um, for Kathy, I will speak for Kathy, but is there anyone else who would like to speak for Kathy? Uh, I'm speaking up on Kathy's behalf um, as she is um, somebody who has always um, shown an interest in taking part in town uh, uh, administration, politics, regulation, always um, been available for meetings and um, unafraid to jump in and find out things. She does her homework, I know that. So uh, that would be my endorsement for Kathy. Yeah, are there other comments for Kathy or then I'll speak? <clears throat> okay, I think as you saw from Kathy's letter that she sent to everyone, she's very thoughtful, articulate, and certainly has carefully considered the responsibilities of serving on the board. Um, she clearly knows Deerfield. She's been a resident for 30 years. Um, community business owner, homeowner, employer, uh, kids in the school system. Um, so she certainly knows lots of different aspects of the town. She's also been a very active resident. I've certainly heard her uh, testif testify or speak at a number of public meetings. She's very eloquent. And as Rachel says, she does her homework, which I really value. Um, her working style is an emphasis on collaboration 
which is, I think, very important. And she values the collective interests of the town, uh, the town and the residents. Uh, she wants to listen to the people of Deerfield um, and make thoughtful development happen. So I think she would be an excellent member. All right. So what we will do now then is go through alphabetically, um, uh, which actually turns out that alphabetically planning board people other than me are first um, and mention who you are voting for and then we'll see where the votes come out. So Max. Uh, Max Antes, Kathy Watroba. Thank you, Rachel. Rachel Blaine, Kathy Watroba. Okay, Anne Mary. Anne Mary Stephen Pistrich. Denise. Kathy Watroba. Trevor. Uh, Mark Brennan. Carolyn. Uh, Mark Brennan. David. Mark Brennan. And Annalie, which is Kathy Watroba. So, um, our majority out of eight needs to be, aren't there eight of us? Yes, then it needs to have five. So the top two are Mark and Kathy. Um, so I don't know if we wanna have some additional, I suppose we can open for any additional discussion or. Um, Do you wanna hear from any of the people uh, that are, uh, is Mark and Kathy here tonight? Um, Mark appears to be here. I don't, I don't, um, Kathy was, I think, not able to come today. Hello, Mark. Uh, Mark, yes, certainly. Can you unmute and give us your thoughts? Sure, I, I just wasn't sure if it was my time to speak, sorry. Sure. Yes, please go ahead, Mark. Yeah, so um, thank you all for, you know, considering me tonight. Um, you know, um, I, uh, like it uh, had already been mentioned, um, you know, and I'm serving on the Capital Improvements Planning Committee and have an engineering background and, you know, would really like to um, become a lot more involved with the town. Um, in terms of, um, you know, the planning board itself, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I think the, the town has to uh, kind of decide on in the years to come that will require someone with kind of like a logical mindset. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm looking to, uh, offer up, you know, my kind of unique background and, uh, you know, serve the town in that capacity. Um, I also fully intend on, on running, um, I've already, you know, collected signatures and everything. So, um, you know, regardless of what happens, you know, I, I, uh, plan on running for the board. So, uh, if, if I am, you know, nominated, it's, um, uh, going to be one of those things where, um, you know, I'll continue to serve after the, the, the two months. So thank you very much for considering me. Thank you. Any other um, discussion? I, I have a question towards that. Um, that's the second time that someone sort of said logical mindset. And I guess I'm wondering, I guess I'm wondering why that verbiage keeps being brought up. I feel like we all have a logical mindset. So I guess I'm wondering what exactly that means. Well, um, yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. I, I wasn't sure if that was directed at me or, or any of the other folks who had mentioned that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yes, please. Yeah, so I guess for, um, for, for me, it's, you know, kind of thinking about things uh, in, in terms of, um, you know, policy procedure, breaking down large problems into small problems um, and evaluating them that way. Uh, I'm not in any way suggesting that no one else has one, um, but I, I would hope that anyone who wants to serve in a planning board, whether they have an engineering background or not, uh, has that. Um, so that, that that's what I mean by uh, logical mindset. Okay, thank you. So perhaps you mean engineering background. Yes. Yeah, it's just, you know, I've worked with a lot of engineers in my past and know how engineers function. And I didn't mean to degrade anybody else by saying that. Uh, it's just, you know, and not knowing the other candidates that well. That's where I was coming from. Okay, thank you for the clarification. That's good. And thanks for the questions, it's important. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> so I guess we'll go through again with um, alphabetical and uh, the top candidates are Mark Brennan and Kathy Watroba. So Max? Uh, Max Antes, Kathy Watroba. Rachel? 
Rachel Blaine, Kathy Wachroba. And Mary? And Mary Clutier, or Kathy Wachroba. Denise? Kathy Wachroba. Trevor? Uh, Mark Brennan. Carolyn? Unmute, Carolyn. <laughs> sorry. That's okay. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was muted. Mark Brennan. Uh, David? Uh, Mark Brennan. And I'll also vote for Kathy. So um, that's, that's five for Kathy. And um, I appreciate very much um, the good conversation and the good discussion. And um, Mark, certainly look forward to your candidacy for the springtime. That's great. All right. Um, I think, uh, could we have a motion to close the planning board? I move that we um, close the planning board because we're meeting again on Monday. And Rachel, not, I need space and I second that. All right, all in favor? Rachel Blaine, aye. And Lee Wolf, aye. I need space and yes. Max Antes, yes. Amory Cloutier, yes. All right, so um, see you all on Monday. Thank you. Have a nice dinner, bye. Thanks, Thanks Natalie. Natalie. Oh. Natalie. Okay. Pardon me? I'll give you a call. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Annalie. Yes. Thank you, Annalie. Okay. It was well run. Thank you. <laughs> My first meeting. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, next item on the agenda um, is the sewer commissioner's consideration of new sewer policies and sewer abatement. I, I have to tell you, I spent all week rescheduling the clinics three times. I did not read the sewer abatement stuff. I've got it. Uh, so I, I talked with Barb this week. Um, I'd like to, um, I know this is, I'm sorry, this is taking a little longer than I hoped. Uh, this has been, <laughs> been a crazy couple of weeks. Um, but I talked with Barb and Barb, Kevin, um, and Kate, I'd like to have Casey as well. We're going to get together. I, I think I have an idea of where we would go with a policy for, um, for farmers and industrial um, for, for the sewer abatements as it, as it relates to excess, you know, typical, I mean, really that's where we're coming from. We have farmers and sometimes uh, industrial that use a lot of water that we know don't go down the sewer. Um, so I wanted to, I just wanted to flush out some of those unintended consequences based on what I think we'd like to do and then present that to the board at our next meeting. So um, Barb said she'd be happy to meet with me to do that. And um, so that's Trevor, thank you. Thank you for taking that on. Yeah. Um, I just want to be sure that we have two separate policies, though, one for agriculture and one for industry. Not, I mean, I, I know what you're saying. There are two separate, you know, you know, opportunities for which we know they don't use the water, but I think you cannot mix the two. They have to Correct. be separate. Oh, yes, okay. and that's what we have to kind of flush out so that we're okay. doing that right. correctly. Yeah. All right. Oh, thank you very much. I really yep. appreciate it. I'm just sorry. I it's been too much going. Had... Yeah, I know. So I apologize. Okay. Um, we have appointment. We have Anna Lee has volunteered for the House Committee. So I'd like to make a, a motion to appoint Anna Lee to the um, um, your Housing Committee. I'll second that motion. Uh, it, other than saying thank you very, very much, Annalee. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Aye, Dave Wolver. Aye, Carolyn Ness. Thank you. And thank you, Annalee. Thank you, Lily. You have a good new member. Okay. We're going to get that senior housing on the road again. <laughs> um, John. Uh, Chief Pachorek has two uh, part-time um, uh, positions. One, uh, James Fitzgerald, who also, he resides in Deerfield. Um, it's for a training rate of $15 an hour. And um, after the completion of the field training officer program, $18 an hour. And then also 
Timothy Capiano, who is also here from South Deerfield and um, training rate of $15 an hour after the completion of the field training officer program, $18 an hour. Um, he's got a bachelor's degree from of li in liberal um, arts from Westfield State and is currently instructional assistant at Frontier Regional. So I think um, it would be wonderful to have both of these um, appointments. Um, so I make a motion we appoint them. Dave Wolf, a second. Thank you, Dave. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, was in favor? Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Hi, Dave Wolfram. Hi, Carolyn Ness. Great. Welcome. Okay. To the um, right now we're back to the survey. Casey, can you pull that survey up? I think this is really significant. Jennifer's going to pull it up for us. Okay. Um, I, I tag team administration here. <laughs> oh, good. All right. Um. questionnaires like this yes it has been good to discuss and let everybody on record know what all that has been happening but um yeah uh yeah but everybody's been working since eight o'clock this morning so let me tell you. you we've got this a little mail so yeah. we're done fortunately the town of deerfield's got a powerhouse named carolyn that's been forcing a lot of this stuff through that's true <laughs> that's true <laughs> Listen, it was, it's been a team effort. Everyone was so good today. I'm so proud of us as a community. If, we work together uh, so well. If, uh, okay, okay. last if question. Foundation. You said it was done. All right. We have received funding for the CARES Act. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, go. we need more CARES Act funds. Yeah, oh, do. crap, it's not done. They, they hold on. Oh, we want okay, another... so we, uh, can I answer the rest of them because this is CARES Act stuff? Yes, please. John please. and John and Brenda and I have been doing. Okay. And that's and so it, the question, the column is: if you received funding, how have you primarily used those resources? Okay. And that's actually a functional question that I would like to talk to Brenda about. Please. Please. Okay. Cool. Don't forget it's due tomorrow, though. Don't miss the deadline. I have not, I have not forgotten that. Working. Okay. How could but, I forget? Before, okay, we we need this mail, tomorrow. before we get to mail, Carolyn, there was a question um, on what surplus uh, vehicle is. How do we get a surplus cruiser? That just means oh. that um, we go through vehicles in town. They could be, you know, um, highway department or they could be, in most cases, the, our police cruisers. We go through them. And when we were done, we had a surplus cruiser that we donated to South County EMS. Um, and in this case, where we would just either scrap it or put it on an auction block um, when oh, it's no, done. we sell them. We sell them. Right. We sell them when they're done. In this case, we're we're selling this one to um, a, a town. So we come up with surplus vehicles after they've been used up and they have used their life life expectancy in a in a particular department. So that's what a surplus vehicle is. Just doesn't mean we have an extra one. It just means that it's at its end of a life and we're done using it. It has so, it has a hundred and you know yeah. once it gets around one hundred and fifty thousand miles or something like that. And you town, know, major start stuff starts breaking. And, and towns have to actually dispose of them. At, have they have a surplus process to get rid of items? Yeah. Like that. So that's kind we of we have how to that declare. Goes. Yes, we have to declare that it is no longer needed. By right. Us. Okay. Before Moving we can on. Sell them. So mail, is that where we're at? Um, do we, um, can we take this personnel changes on the uh, personnel board changes under recommendation? So what I was going to ask you to do is it's in the mail so that you're notified. I was at the, I worked with the personnel board at their Monday meeting and they had a couple of, a couple of suggestions and they did take a vote um on juneteenth and recommendation to change columbus day to indigenous people's day um and there's there may be another change that they recommend but what i would suggest you do since it's come through as a mail item is that we put it on an agenda for further discussion 
keep in mind that these are personnel changes in the general bylaws. So the notification process is different than we would handle, than we would have for a zoning bylaw. Well, the reason I wanna, um, I, I just wanna look at it because um, I, I know when we were on the planning board, um, we had um, members, a member or two that would miss so many meetings, but it was like six or eight or some- awful Personnel number. hasn't looked at that yet. Yeah. Um, the Personnel two, hasn't looked at that. Yeah, but what I'm saying is when you have here um, a meeting for two, two or more consecutive meetings, you know, there could be somebody who could be sick and, you know, have a severe illness. And that's and different I, from the personnel ones. Those are the, the other bylaw change requests that we got. So we have we one for- question? Well, we, I could speak to that because are you talking about the, the CPC, Bruce St. Peter's? Uh, oh, um, no, we're, we're, oh, no, was, this is adoption of something else. Oh, this because- the personnel need, board of two or more, if someone misses two or more meetings, you can- you So the, the CPC has been working with Bruce St. Peter's because we have challenges around that with some uh, board members. And we oh, okay. just voted at our meeting two days ago or whatever it was. Um, he worked really hard on crafting it. And we beat it up with him and, we, and we're gonna, and he's gonna um, bring it to you guys. So should he bring it to the personnel board? Because it does address things like basically two or more unexcused absences or something. And uh, I, anyway, so just so, so you know. So if, if it was an illness, it would be an excused absence? Sure, yes, exactly. Oh, okay, so, all right. I was just worried yeah. if someone was really sick. But anyway, so um, that will probably be coming to you all as well. I thought since I didn't realize the personnel board was working on it, too, because personnel board isn't they have separate ones these are so you've got three bylaw requests bylaw change requests you got the personnel board one you've got the cpc request and the um the one that you and carolyn were just talking about okay so you've got different things okay. the the commonality so, there is there they're they're listed in the in the if you look online and look at the the packet they're listed individual they're Listed by section, the commonality between them is they're all general bylaws. So there's a different process that we take, we handle them through. I don't okay. know that personnel's charge is actually on that level. So I think I would want to go back and look. I, I mean, on the appointing authority one. Okay. Um. um What's uh where where is nine Greenfield Road? That uh, Red Roofin. It's Red Roofin. Okay. What do they want? What do they want to do? They want to reduce it. They want to reduce the size of the non. They want to reduce it. Awesome. Yes, yes, okay. they want to reduce it. They've had you know it's been blown out for months, and so. That would love to have them replace it. And when they replace it, they're going to make it smaller, which I'm all in favor of. I, I guess that would be a positive thing if it was a little bit smaller. Yep. I don't, I don't think I have any comments on it. I mean, it's, it's allowed, right? Cause it's been there. So yeah. it, right. you're shaking your head, Jennifer. Right. Because it's a pre-existing non-conforming sign. So it needs to go to the, to the zoning board in order to reduce the size because it still doesn't fit our bylaw. So basically you're making it smaller, but you're not making it to conform to our bylaws today. So, uh, so the bylaw today wouldn't be allowed at all. That sign would not be no. So, so that's why they have to go back to the zoning board of appeals. So it's so you know, the zoning the board are making it smaller, but can they can they, can they keep the sign the way it is and just replace it at that size? Yes, and that would be without any permit whatsoever. Right. So yeah. the only thing, the only benefit we can get out of this is it can go a little bit smaller. We can't remove it yet. Okay. Correct. Got it. Okay. So and can we just, said, rather yeah. than have no comment, can we just say no comment of concern or something? Unless yeah. Dave, you would say, you want to say anything? No, I, 
I don't have any concern on it. Like you say, the sign's been missing for quite a while. Right. Actually. Right. I, mean, I know that people have had concern. I've got a couple calls on it that it's been, you know, like dangerous or whatever. So it, it's just making it so that it's meets code and is safe, safe and. Um, yeah. And it's yeah. There. All right. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, all right. Well, all the Everything in mail is just for review, right? And we're going to look yeah. at this for a future time. Um, other yeah, than this is all here for you guys to review because I think some of these things you'll need to take up at, okay. at additional meetings. Other than the other than the um, the sign, because that's something that we needed to have comment back by the fifth. So, but every all the other zoning and the other bylaw stuff, we can just review and bring up on another meeting, right? Like the ambition yeah. this day and all that, which I'm in favor of. I just, you know, yes. it's so late yes. to have a discussion about it. Really, this is my notification that we need to take these issues up. That's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Um, the, before we leave, though, um, I do want to schedule another meeting in March for. Um, no, not another. I'm kidding. <laughs> for our, so we can continue talking about the park. Yes. So, I mean, what do you guys feel like March 11th or what's our, what, what's the workload here? Oh God, towards the end of March. Well, keep in mind that we have capital improvement planning committee and yeah, finance committee long, meetings so and you have, so well, this is part of it is you've got a lot of meetings. I know that's why I was thinking of a Thursday. Um, ConCom meets on Thursday. What, who who has Thursday on what what, what uh, um the eleventh or the eighteenth? Do you have any meetings scheduled? I uh, I don't want to meet. Well, let's see. I've got something personal on the eighteenth and the twenty fifth. We've got our meeting. Yep, twenty fifth is already taken. Yep. I know we have Tuesday night finance committee meetings already, and we have Wednesday select board. I don't. I don't really want to. Uh, April? In case we have to meet eight, no, I don't want to, cause, no, because this is a budget impact one. We is have it? to, we, yeah, is we have mean? to, we have to decide what we're doing, so we know how much the what the budget impact is. Well, we've approved um, the money already. Yeah, but we gotta we gotta figure out what we're doing, Trevor. We still haven't figured that out yet. I know, but isn't there? I just think there's more work. To be done, I think, before we have another meeting, right? What? Um, I think John's got. No, I think they've got an idea. I mean, they took the input from the last meeting and they adjusted it, and they wanted people to look at it again. So this okay. is. Okay. All right. Up. I think this is like what... a second run by, right? They well, just started part. that. Yeah. So after you yeah. left, Carolyn, we had some conversations about the needs assessment and feasibility study um, and some of the other requests. So what they've done is they've scheduled. Are you talking about capital? No. I was, well, yes, there's capital and stuff, but I'm talking capital about and finance are public, both next week. Right. But I was talking about the general public still has to have input. They took the input from the last meeting. And, and they've made adjustments. And so now it's to present the adjustments and then to make more adjustments if necessary so that then we can figure out how much we're gonna spend for capital. So it has to be fairly, you know, in the next three or four weeks, no, three weeks. I think you'll hear more information on Tuesday because I think we'll have a better idea from Brenda at the finance committee meeting about what might be available. And then can She's we still working on that. So you're posting you're posting the March second for all of us. Do you want us to post it? Is my question. I will well, not because I can ask Jennifer to do that ASAP. Well, I don't know if, what Dave's schedule is, but I'm you okay know. on the second. Okay. Well, maybe Dave and I. That's can finance. Go. Yeah. Maybe Dave and I can go if you can't, Trevor. Yes, that'd be great. Yep, I cannot go that day. All right. So maybe you could post it so Dave and I could both show up. At the finance committee? Yeah. 
Yep. Uh, we gotta we gotta sort this out somehow. We've gotta have some discussion right. about what we're doing. Because and so kind of, yeah. yeah, I mean we gotta figure out what kind of money we're spending, what 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 designs we're gonna do. And so there's a couple things from a so as it impacts um, the entire budget. There's some places that we might be able to, to wiggle things around in capital that would give us alleviate some of that pressure. But ultimately, you're still looking at, at money. So um, I think it'll be interesting to, to have you guys participate in the finance committee meeting or at least show up and listen to what, what's being discussed. Capital is on the third, and both uh, Kevin and Trevor have been invited to discuss Kevin's budget request, but also school budget requests as they relate to capital is Trevor's focus, as well as the common Trevor. Yep. No. So there's a CIPC meeting on the third? Yes. Yes. At what time? It is at 5.30. 5.30. Okay. And finance is at what time? Finance is at um, five o'clock. Five o'clock? Wow. Yeah. Okay. They're getting early now. <laughs> All right. Gip's getting older. <laughs> so, I won't say um, they agree on that. Okay. Julie's chair now. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I wanted to make want a tentative on the tenth. Um, your select board meeting, Greg Franceschi wants to, he's going to be a discussion item or, uh, I mean, not a discussion item. He wants I, to meet. I will not be at the uh, 10th meeting. I've got a school committee meeting that night at six, same time, just to give you guys a heads up. Oh, no, budget. that's okay. That's but, okay. Uh, um, for the energy committee. Okay. Uh, oh, geez. Uh, well, no, actually, Dave has been has been pretty good about um, all that solar stuff. I, I just, you know, all the energy committee stuff is very. Um, I'm part. All three of us should hear that. Um, so why don't we push it to the next meeting, the later meeting, the twenty fourth? Yep. And I'll, I'll ask March. I already confirmed tonight that he was. Well, well, why don't you just tell him that we need to have all three about, people there? Does, does he know? I mean, is it going to be about solar or what is he going to be talking about? What part of the energy? Talk about um, proposed that the town build a bike path connecting town buildings and the school and that we stripe bike lanes on the roads um, through the center of that's South. That's not Island. energy committee stuff. That's not energy committee. I know, but that's but it says on the email, I'm just reading. Okay, um, why, that's actually a larger, that's a larger conversation that I do think because Trevor's been involved in some of these complete streets work, the Leary lot and the common, that's a bigger conversation with all three select board members. Tell, tell Greg that um, Trevor's not gonna be there on the 10th and that we'll try to do that on the 24th and we'll try to get the streetscape, see where we are with streetscape, complete streets, you know, the Leary lot, everything, because I mean, that is all connected. What I do, I still, I, I guess, Casey, could you forward out to the other members the proposal from Berkshire Design for some master work, master plan kind of budget? I can forward that to you again if you need it. I sent it early on, but it may, you know, it's probably 70 pages down. Way, way down. <laughs> it, it's 70 you. pages back in my email. I'll fluff it up to the top and then just send it to the other members to just look at. Um, I think it, you know, and maybe other people have ideas of other things or other other companies they want to use. But um, we had a good meeting the other night reviewing the common and um, and we gave some feedback as our ad hoc town common committee. And uh, so so Jeff is taking that back and working those ideas out and it's going to bring it back. And I again, I. 
told everybody before, but I walked Jeff uh, Squire around town and talked about these other projects and how we want to master plan. So they came up with kind of an initial budget for at least helping us shape that a little bit. And I wanted to bring that to you all and to see if it's something that we want to move forward with. Um, and so if you could look at that between now and the time we meet with, you know, ha have a further discussion of the, uh, you know, where our bike lines lanes would go. I mean, I, I'm all for bike line, lanes and connecting things around. I think it's a great idea. I just want to do it again in concert with a master plan and vision for the town. And I think we need to talk, you and I need to talk street, streetscape because yes. I really am struggling with that one. Yes, I and that's the access that. point for us to do some of this work. Absolutely. Yep. So, Wait, do you have a comment? I, I do. Um, I did not realize that um, the town was looking at uh, doing a new master plan. And I think- uh, I didn't, I don't, don't, that's not, yeah. Don't take that as a new master plan. It's a, it's a, when we do a construction project, I don't want it to be a piecemeal thing. So I don't right. mean master plan as far as I think what you're thinking of this 40 book page book master plan, that needs to happen too. But as right. far as um, when we do a project, I want it to have the same, the same curbing, the same sidewalk, the same, you know, sure, consistency yeah. look. Okay. But, so but it's yeah. up and it's also up. This connects with something else. Yeah. That and, and I said master okay. plan. I should probably come okay. up with a different term that that means gotcha. something other than what you're envisioning. Yeah. yeah. Well, mostly my, yeah. my comment was going to be, and it might be the worth still plan. making it, is that, um, you know, the planning board or Anna Lee or somebody like that should be in yeah. that conversation because sure. um, that I know that in talking with her, she's on the, the CTC, yes. you know, she's talking about wanting to be a planning board and not yes. just an improvement. Yes. So sure. <laughs> love, I would love, love to see help. that yes. happen again. Yes. We used to do all kinds of stuff. So it would be yeah. really great to see the planning board. Okay, do that. cool. Thank yeah. you. But we do need to work on a master plan and I, I won't bring it up again because we got a late night, but yes, we do need to get that going as well. What what Trevor meant was just connect, make sure we're not doing anything connect the dots. in a silo yeah. and, and, and sitting off by itself. Everything is going to connect, everything is going to flow, and everything is going to have the same look. Mm -hmm. It's going to look to pull together. It's no more choppiness. So I'll I'll it's find the plan. Then. Yes, that's a great idea. Thank you. Thank all you. right, so we're gonna put off scheduling that park meeting until everybody's there. Okay, so not the eleventh. Did did you look in the calendar and see if the eleventh or the eighteenth is available? Are are both those evenings booked? Can we? We have um. A ZEBA meeting on the 11th, so there's one more account. And what was the other date? Okay. The 18th. Or how about the 18th? Is the 18th available? At the moment, so if you want to grab it. And All right. can you just pencil grab it the 18th, in? the 18th, but yeah. Pencil it in. It's not solid yet. Well, let's wait until we have some more discussion with the finance committee, but let's pencil in the 18th, okay? Or with finance or? No, no, no. Uh, it, it North Main Street Park. No. Another meeting to go over what has or you know came out of the meeting of the comments from the January 19th. It's just I'm afraid if we don't and, pencil um, in some kind of date, it's gonna all of a sudden we're gonna lose time again. What what um what time? Um, I think it was six o'clock the last time, wasn't it? Yep. 6 p.m. and then and we'll have the North Main Street. I get I guess North Main Street Park project is what how we should probably name it. it. Yeah. Okay. So that's a temporary hold on that, and let's see if we can get ready for that. And then advertise. Then we still have a couple of weeks to advertise it after we decide whether to keep that date or not. Sure. Um. All right. Does that is there anything else that we need to bring up tonight? We we is there any public comment? Rocky, do you want to say something? Um, I I just want to uh, 
congratulate Kevin Chicago and the guys in the DPW. Uh, in the last two weeks with all the snow we had and everything like that, like every other day, I thought they did a tremendous job this year. Uh, they jumped the, uh, the center of town, you know, on the common right there. Uh, they weren't the huge piles of snow that they usually plow up. I mean, they were gone like the next day. They did a really, really good job this year. So Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Yes. I definitely mentioned That's that to nice Kevin. nice to hear. Yep. It's always good people, to hear. People, never, people are quick, quick with complaints, but you don't hear too many nice things. So we'll be and, sure to pass it on to Kevin. Uh, one more comment. Nice to meet you, Casey. <laughs> I know. I finally put the face to the name at the last meeting. And I thought, oh, I need to say, because it just hit me. So it is nice to meet you too, Rocky. <laughs> wow. And, and thank you, Lily and Anna Lee and Chris Harris and Rocky for everybody being here tonight. It's really great. Thank you. Um, we're always happy Thank to have you, you guys. Time. You're so impressive. I can't. It's astounding to me what you're doing. You're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I want okay. my vaccination. <laughs> we're, we're fighting for vaccine wheeling. We're working I must have been put that three times in that thing. <laughs> yeah. I want to well, say one thing. Happy birthday, Casey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Almost midnight, right? Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah, I'm getting old and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> hey, it's better than the alternative. That's right. That's true. It's true. <laughs> and we're glad you're here. I'm going to make sure I had cake to eat today. So. Good. Good. You start the new decade. I know. It's a new decade, level five. Yeah. Joy. <laughs> oh, look, boy, that's, that's, that's spring chicken. That's what Kevin said to me. <laughs> let, us, let us know how it is. We're uh, we're right behind you. <laughs> no, see, oh oh. only you, Trevor. You're the baby in the whole yeah. world. Jennifer, him and Jennifer are right behind me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you, guys. you all. I make a motion to adjourn. Okay. Dave Wolf from second. All right. If there's no further discussion, all those in favor. Hi, Trevor McDaniel. Hi, Dave Wolfram. Hi, Carolyn Ness. Thank you, everyone. Have a very you. nice evening. Yeah, good, good luck. Night.